All right, thanks so much for joining. So today I'm going to show you how you can very easily create the Certificate of Appreciation using Microsoft Publisher and Templates. Um, I do have a YouTube channel which has multiple different videos, everything from creating um, traditional Certificate of Appreciation, um, another Certificate of Achievement Award. Um, but I also have a video called Searching Fonts, Installing Fonts, and Using Symbols. If you do not know how to download and install new fonts, please watch this video. Also, I do monitor the chat lines. Um, if you have any suggestions or recommendations for new videos, please uh, share them. I do monitor those. Um, and please subscribe to my channel and or like any of all my videos. I would be so appreciative. All right, so we're gonna be able to create this um, pretty quickly and pretty easily. First thing we're gonna to wanna to do is go to File, New, Blank Document. We want this to be Landscape View, okay? Next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna go up to Page Design and we're gonna click on Change Template, okay? From here, we don't wanna look at the flyers. What we wanna do is we wanna go into Award Certificates, but there are multiple different types of templates that you can use, everything from signs to gift cards, but let's take a look at these certificates. Um, these are all templates that um, are predefined and created, and you can use any of these, but what I actually used um, was this one right here, and I'll show you how you can basically make some changes. Um, first of all, you can change sort of the color scheme, if you like, which is kinda nice. Um, the other thing you can do is change sort of the font scheme as well. I'm going to be changing some fonts on the side um, because I did download and install the certificate font. I think that kind of looks pretty good. Um, so we'll leave the default fonts, but we'll change those on our own. Um, and then if you have any uh, business information that you want to preload in there, you can do that as well. And we want to apply template to current. Okay, and there we go. From here, we can go ahead and move the star over if we wanted to, and I also made this a little bit smaller. Um, I just liked it a little bit smaller. Uh, next thing I did was I clicked on the Certificate of Appreciation, and I actually used um, Certificate Font, and I made that a 48-point font. Okay, Then you can select this text box and kind of use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move it down if you wanted to um, make that. And you can actually use, it will give you guides in terms of where, um, how everything is gonna line up. And then um, I actually made this bigger and I made this a 20 point font. I thought it looked better, bigger. And let's just write Amelia Picado. And um, what I want to do is actually highlight this and I changed this font to Genesu. And again, if you don't know how to download and inst install new fonts, watch that video. Um, so you might not have some of these uh, fonts, but again, you can change them in anything that you want. And then we changed the recognition um, valuable contributions to, we changed that to Colibri Light, and we made that a 14 point font. And then I got rid of the business name, and I got rid of the organization, and what I did was I just went to insert picture, and let's go to desktop, and let's go to video, and let's go to trifold, and let's insert our Eastgate PTA logo. Let's go ahead and move this down. There we go. And we can kind of move that over where you want. Now, if you don't like this star, right, let's say you wanted to make this um, soccer. You can always go to Google um, and you can, uh, let's say you want to use different star. Um, we can just type in star, click on images, and um, this one's okay. Let's take a look at view more down here because we don't want exactly this one, but we want one kind of like that. And let's say we like this one right here. Okay, you can always right click and do a save picture as, and then we could save it as the yellow stars and certificate. And then we can go back to our publisher and we can click here and we can insert picture and then we can go to our. and we want to find our certificate too. 
and we can go ahead and insert our yellow stars. And we can obviously make this bigger or smaller. So again, if you wanted to put a soccer ball there or a football, whatever you want to do, it's totally customizable. I actually kind of liked this one, so we're going to go ahead and leave that. Um, and then finally, if we wanted to go ahead and add that border, we can go to Insert borders and accents and here's a whole bunch of borders and accents you can do so if you like something like this you can do that um oops i did not want to do that <laughs> i wanted to go to insert uh, borders and accents and i just wanted to add this very simple outline and we can move this up till you see that sort of hit both edges there and again, this is why I'm starting to like to use Microsoft Publisher a little more than Word to do printables. Um, there are definitely some limitations, but for things like this, I, I, I am tending to like it a little bit more. And we can click on Format, and we want to go to Shape Outline, and we want to make this a three-point font. And then we want to go down to Weight, and we want to go to More Lines. And we want to do a Compound Line, and we want to do Thick Thin. Okay. All right. Um, something else that I really like with Publisher is you can always get a shape outline and you can use the sample line color. So if I want this blue and I want the exact blue, you can just click on that color, something you can't do in Word, which is kind of nice. That being said, I do actually like this yellow as the outline. Um, but that's how you can very easily make the Certificate of Appreciation um, using a Publisher with a couple customizations, um, but making it very quickly by using some of those predefined templates. Uh, I hope you found this useful. If you did, please like me on, um, please like this video and or subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much.